Hi guys, so this is the second part of the video and we were talking about being grateful and all the um, all the emotions. Oh my gosh. My nose is itchy. Hi, how are you? Corona, is that you? No, it's cocaine. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so we were talking about being grateful and you know, I, I see we, we're subscribed uh, to a group of, uh, because now we live in Florida mm -hmm. and we love Disney. So we subscribe to one Hi. of this group um of those groups of chatting with other people in, on Facebook. And uh, we realized that there were a lot of people who were complaining. Or at least that's what we read for. And just, I'm just venting right out there. You know, this is my way of thinking. A lot of people are complaining. Oh, well, I don't have a, a you know, um, a place to go. Or we really miss Disney. Or we were planning Yeah, because we, we joined. Um... But we're not jumping there right now. Oh, well, what he's talking about is, you know, within like social media... And like Facebook Market and all of these groups on Facebook, you know, we have recently, because he mentioned Disney, we've joined several groups of Disney and we've joined, you know, just several groups of like whatever community. Um, just and to, this is what know, he's socialize. saying. Mm -hmm. And so in, in this particular groups on Disney, there's these people who are always like complaining, well, I have planned to spend my birthday there. Well, I have planned to spend, I don't know, uh, my anniversary, I have planned to spend you know, um, my graduation there or, you know, last year, uh, I was doing this and I would love to be back mm -hmm. and I feel so sad, so angry, so upset that they are not open. Mm -hmm. Like be grateful that, the, the, you know, not only Disney, but everywhere else, they are taking precautions and not putting their own employees to risk. I'm yeah. pretty sure that it's a very disappointing and sad situation, but also be grateful that, you know, um, a lot of them, they are no longer working. I was just I was recently talking to one of my colleagues uh, that she was telling me that at all Sephora they didn't um they no, they don't longer pay them for full time to the full timers, and at Ulta uh because she now works at Ulta, uh they are gonna discontinue paying them because they they didn't know what to do, and at Ulta actually they told me that part time employers they were no longer getting paid, so it's uh, you know be grateful that you have a roof on the top of your head because a lot of the times we take things for granted mm -hmm. like our own lives, and it's honestly like I just. Uh, I don't even want to think about it. I personally, I am a victim of, you know, job loss within this, again, upsetting pandemic um, where, you know, we support ourselves. Like, we don't have mommy or daddy or any other branch other than, you know, these two sources of income. Not even the, um, the government. We don't get uh, help from the government. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, you know. Um these are the two sources of income to support not only his father, you know, our dogs, ourselves, or, you know, everything underneath the tree. So, like, I don't even want to think of the monster that's creating. Because right now, obviously, we don't have funds to put into, you know, whatever, phone bill or whatever. Now, what I'm getting to is, thankfully, these companies are... You know, kind putting of a, putting a pause shaving, and everything. Yeah, like kind of shaving that stress off of your back. But you know, I'm a stressful individual, so I can't. Like, I, I I sit down sometimes and I think to myself, how are we gonna deal with this like enormous monster of bills that are literally building up and holding off? Because it's not like when you go back to work, they're gonna give you however many months of non-pay back. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta. Hustle it out because even if you can get a job now, at what risk? You know what I'm saying? To what extent are you going out? All these Amazon workers that are still working, you know, how many reported cases of coronavirus are out there? The even, concern um, people like, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but even people like DoorDash, or people like who drive for Live, people who drive for Instacart, for Ship, a lot of people like them that they are earning a lot of extra money right now because of tips or whatever. They're putting their lives at risk. And when they're putting their lives at risk, they're putting others to risk. It just takes one. That's what I was going to say. It just The concern is that it just literally takes one person. It doesn't matter how clean you are because it's inevitable for you. Oh, I have an itch. Let me just, you know, you've done it for so many years now, you know, that it's it's inevitable that you're going to mess up at some point. And you're going to be like, oh, it's itchy. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to be like, shoot, maybe it's too late. So like, you know. Just be very cautious about... Take your, uh, and this, uh, where I was heading to, also, you know, like, we we are taking a lot of uh, uh, 
uh, steps to take care of ourselves. Like when we go out, we usually and we come back, whether it's to a grocery shopping or pick up medicine, we always come back, leave our shoes outside. We wash our hands. If we have to bring something inside, we put it and wash it, no matter what it is. If it's cardboard or plastic or metal, we wash it. Then we finish it. Then we, you know, we wash it again with Clorox, and then we we spray a little bit of alcohol over it, and we still let it sit in and, and rest. Um, and that happens with, like I said, with any kind of grocery shopping, with any kind of medicine, uh, anything, even the, the letters that we get, I spray them. I used to have like one bottle of Lysol that went away already, and I would Lysol them, and I would just wait. <laughs> Lysol's history, that's literally a myth now. Nobody yeah. knows Lysol anymore. Nobody. <laughs> and I, um, and the person, like, at night, we usually have, like you mentioned, our dogs. Um, we usually go outside, and we literally, whoever is outside goes and walks them around, and the person who stays here goes and cleans, you know, um, because here they are kettle trained, so I clean, you either mop the floor or clean their poop if they ended up pooping inside. And yeah, because we've had to take, we've had to really alter our lifestyle. You know, our dogs usually, everybody. they go out, for example, twice, a twice to three times a day, you know, because they're small, small bladders. Um, however, now, you know, because of prevention methods, sometimes we have to take them out once t to two times, depending on you know, how much they're eating and things of the sort. And so now, like I was telling them, um, telling them um, and thank you so much for saying, you know, tune and subscribe and uh, make sure you click on the button for notifications. Uh, his uh, Instagram is uh, under donnell.quinones and my Instagram is under art of the spirit all together. And, um, you know, whoever goes outside, we usually, I'm, I'm grateful for to have him. He goes around, walks him around, and while I clean over here, and then he goes, puts him in back, and then he takes a shower, then right right there, I go ahead and put their, his clothes at the washing machine. It's just like he, like he said, everybody changed their lives, and it's mm -hmm. very frustrating, and we understand, and I think it's it would be great for us to put a little bit of piece of a positive uh, outcome out there. Yeah, it's just extremely upsetting and frustrating. Because it's like we're getting a hit left and right. We were taking all these precautions. We don't have a job now. But we're taking all these precautions, as you know. Um, electric bills are going to go up because you're home more. Um, with usage constantly. Water. Um, water. Sewage. Sewage. Because you're flushing more. You're doing things of, you know, of that nature. And there's no income. And there's no income flowing in. But just keep calm. You know, Sound do your best. Case. <laughs> Hi, Mary Kay. Sponsor me. <laughs> Do your best to, you know, stay focused on... Things that are entertain you. And even though, like... It's... Girl, don't do puzzles. That is some hard... Even if there's two people instead of, like, we or we stay inside of one room, I, like, he sometimes, you know, experiments and ex experiences and practices different type of makeups. I, myself, have been enjoying doing surveys online that I... Even though if I get paid one penny, I, I enjoy doing them because it, I bring them, I bring that money to home. And, um, you know, or sometimes I just pause it and go to my bookstore and I start reading a book over at night. And he, he loves to, you know, he and I, we love to um, play video games lately. We've been watching a lot of uh, TV shows and movies. Catching up. Yeah. We've been catching up with it, keeping up with the Kardashian. Corny bitch, bye. <laughs> And um, pretty much we, we're trying to, you know, do things on our own, everybody in their own space. But sometimes we come together so we don't get bored, angry or upset because it can, you, we can take up the frustration with each other. Mm -hmm. And that can be very stressing, very hurtful, very painful. And it also puts you in jeopardy. It does. It does. And it's not worth it because at the end of the day, you know, this is the time of unity. This is the time of... Where you show your true love and your true self. Right. I've even seen like when I walk the dogs... um nighttime typically because obviously it's a little bit more isolated um i even see some families come together you know um i see a whole bunch of air mattresses in their in their yeah, living was, rooms i'm not me, spying i promise but you know he was telling me that <laughs> one time he walked around and he saw in this living room like a lot of them uh, air mattresses and he's like i'm very surprised that people are coming in together to stay together i personally wouldn't pandemic. be able to do it i wouldn't i would like, love to do it oh no it's too much honey i'm okay like just relaxing you know too much noise i get nervous i don't know why i'm, I'm 
just so paranoid. Like, I, he, I, we live in an apartment. And, like, even if they're stumping, I don't know how they're stumping downstairs. We hear it up here. And I'm like, <gasps> so we're stumping it what's way. going on? I get nervous. I, I, I can't handle it. But overall, we wish you guys you're doing great <laughs> so far. Uh, this is the video for today, Wednesday. We'll go ahead and upload. Uh, I'm sorry. This is the second video of the one from Wednesday. And this will be up for Thursday. And if you guys like this type of videos, please let us know. If you guys also would love to hear what kind of products we w went to waste. Because we do have a small box. Uh, a small bag that we put our, our, our old products used. Or if you would like to hear any kind of tips for your hair. Or how to take your hair. Or take care of it. Or, you know, like just hear us venting or talking about it. Um, just let us know. We would love to do more videos for you guys. And thank you guys so much. I know we're almost about to reach 1,000 viewers. So we're very grateful, very humble, and very thankful. Subscribers viewers. Uh, subscribers. And then we're very grateful for you guys. So thank you so much for staying tuned. And make sure you get educated uh, and, you know, you are kind to each other. Right. If you guys have stuck in for this long... Girl, go watch the Netflix. No, I'm kidding. Binge on our channel because we love it. Learn, <laughs> learn new language. Do something new. Do something fun. Do puzzles. Bye. No, don't do puzzles. Literally.